So then, we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the Scriptures. And please have it in mind, the Aramaic translation of the Renewed Covenant is the closest we can ever find from the uh, Hebrew understanding regarding the uh, first portion of the anointing. And uh, the area of anointing gives us the proper understanding of what it, uh, Yahweh did when He first came to the earth and He walked amongst us. So then, gives us also the understanding of the second service based upon the uh, first service. From the time that Moshe brought the people out of Egypt, you understand then the church started. It was not labeled as church, but we understand from the hand of the mighty power of Yahweh through the hands of Moses. He brought them out through the Red Sea near the mountain. They received the instructions and they began then the first service in the tabernacle. From there then they went to the promised land and these model then would serve as an area where then through the functions of Ruach Kodesh in the first anointing and then from the first service to the second service then they would go around the world forming holy lands. This is the very basis of the church then. So then when we read the Megillah of Hebrews then we understand Hebrews they are the updates of the Levitical priestly line. And the area of the renewed covenant then we begin to understand what it meant. The first four Gospels are four viewpoints of the relink. And then later comes the uh, acts of Ruach Kodesh in the lives of the Shilishim. And the most important understanding of this area is from then when started the renewed covenant always relates with set apart Hebrews doing the teaching. There is not a single person making a reference other than was taught through the instructions. There were some goyim that were involved but they were based each of those areas of the writings they were based upon the instructions so there is no area of the scriptures away from the Hebraic understanding and it is true because Luke and then Mark and then those were examples of Goyim they then began the uh, expounding of the understanding only via then the Hebraic viewpoint. So a person can safely say every understanding from the uh, previous covenant and the renewed covenant they are based upon the Hebraic understanding of the scriptures. But then unfortunately later when the uh, Hebrew brothers they began their task of it teaching then the Gentiles, the Gentiles became envious of them and then later they did take over and they changed the scriptures for their own benefit and this area is very dangerous because then Shaul then warned us and he was very explicit in this point they had later times then people would concoct for themselves teachers teaching the doctrines then of males and of demons. Very dangerous. Because the Hebraic understanding always places the Creator Yahweh first and then His basic foundation. Then comes the prophets and the prophets were people sent pointing people back to the instructions. They were not sent only to give, for instance, the future of the planet, but their basic task was to point people back to the Torah and the instructions. 
So that's why then people they base the understandings of the prophetic upon the Torah and the prophets. Because it's solid understanding from the scriptures. So from these understanding then comes the church. So then we learn from the Hebraic understanding every time. And without deviating from other areas. And it is true, people in the past, they were involved with many types of translations of the word. And many times a lot of people lost a track. But these normal factor during the time of the church does not take away the meaning of the understanding from the Hebraic viewpoint. So then the uh, church in fact is the model set by Moshe, never changed. And then came a period of time where then deceit became very evident. So then as we are coming in the uh, revelation then we begin understanding more the factor of the deceit and then it's going to be very popular in the near future more camps being set up as they were previously. So then when we read Yehuda, Yehuda states that the people they were underway and then they would set up then a holy land. Always have in mind that those holy lands they were portable as they were portable during the time of the desert. So any time they would then want to move out they would. But the idea is then teaching the Goyim outside of the camp. And this is where the most danger lies because a lot of areas in the world today lacks the understanding from the Hebraic viewpoint and the Greco-Roman unfortunately because they didn't understand the way the uh, Hebrews did understand the Creator then they tried to describe in their own best way of doing it but yet it was not true. So you find many areas that must be refined and filtered so then people can understand then later the layers, many layers of the prophetic. It's a normal factor. Let's say for instance uh, the Greco-Romans might have had the um, nice intentions or positive intentions when they translated. But certain areas related with the Hebraic because of the forceful understanding of themselves trying to make themselves more important they began to go over the boundaries and became then evident so then our task is making sure we understand the Hebraic so then we can filter most of the scriptures out there because revelation is coming and there are many layers that must be expounded. There is the uh, factor from the time of Daniel, from the time of uh, Yeshiahu, from the time also from the renewed covenant, and then there are layers then that ends a certain point, and then other layers yet are on top of it. So the reason why it's important understanding is because the spirit understanding they come in layers, not on flat surfaces. So then later we can uh, expand more the understanding of these layers related with the renewed covenant based upon the previous covenant. And this is what's lacking a lot because uh, the renewed covenant is only clear when a person understands the importance of then the Torah and the Prophets. When the Torah and the Prophets are discarded or obsoleted, then the rest of it makes no sense. Because they become only 
interpretations without basis. As we understand, he came then and he completed the spring feast and then at the end the autumn feast. The autumn feast is revelation. So then the spring feast was then the areas that he completed and he brought the first anointing. When the revelation comes there is a second anointing as given us the understanding then of then what's coming in the future. But please stay tuned, much more coming up.